tonight, a Local 4 exclusive. We're hearing from respected Detroit businessman, philanthropist, and Kwame Kilpatrick supporter, Peter Carmanos. Speaking out about Kilpatrick's expected release and his hopes for the future, Carmanos sat down with our Hank Winchester. Hank, uh, you know that Pete Carmanos is always willing to speak his mind. Devin, he's very outspoken, and here's the deal. If you ask Pete Carmanis a straightforward question, you're going to get a straightforward, unfiltered answer. That is just the way it goes with Mr. Carmanis. So today we had a very open, honest conversation about Kwame Kilpatrick, his charges, his time in prison, and also what he hopes for the former mayor for the future. And the sentence is ridiculous. Peter Carmanis doesn't mince words. I just never seen anything like this. 28 years. Guy's got a couple boys he hasn't seen for a long time. Carmanis happy to learn that Kilpatrick will soon be free. When I see an injustice like that, I'll keep after it. Carmanis has been a longtime supporter of Kilpatrick, although he says he never met with President Trump or spoke with the president about Kwame Kilpatrick. He did, though, help those that were leading the Kilpatrick charge for freedom. He's spoken with Kilpatrick from prison and knew he was eager to get out. He's got underlying conditions that would make him very, very uh, vulnerable. Yeah. All right. And... Uh, uh, so I think he's naturally worried about that. As for the federal case against Kwame Kilpatrick? Do you feel like he was guilty of those crimes? What? I don't know. They're, they're, they're the uh, kind of crimes that, uh, you know, what did he do? But federal investigators today referred to the former mayor as a notorious criminal. Carmanis says the time never fit the crime. The focus, he says, should now be on Kilpatrick's future, his life after prison. I'd like to get him, see him get his life straightened out, and whatever he decides to do, he would be really good at it. He's a very talented, very intelligent um, man. And although Carmanis says he never had a direct conversation with President Trump about Kwame Kilpatrick, he does say that he wrote letters, uh, that he was part of a letter writing campaign with many others, uh, putting together documents. And Pete says that he knew the right people in Washington to review all of that information. Uh, so while he was not leading the charge, he's obviously instrumental in helping Kwame Kilpatrick get to this point today. We're live here tonight. Hank Winchester, back to you. All right, Hank.